Good morning, welcome to a weekly vlog 39. It's Tuesday actually, didn't vlog Sunday or Monday because I just really wasn't in the mood to vlog and I've decided that if I don't want to vlog I'm not going to vlog because then it's a boring miserable vlog for you isn't it? So I didn't but today I'm about to run out to the shops because I'm making cookies again because I felt like baking. I just keep wanting to bake all the time but then does anyone else do this anyone else that bakes or like likes to cook cakes and whatever do you actually eat what you bake because I tend not to like I'll eat like one when it comes out of the oven when it's warm and then I won't eat anything else I don't know I really like the shop to go get some chocolate and some ingredients that I don't have to bake the cookies and then this afternoon I'm taking some cookies over to Chris's because he went shopping yesterday and he's got me a present and I really want the present I don't know what it is all I know is that it's from the Disney store so I'm guessing it's going to be like a cuddly toy or something he tends to buy me cuddly toys <laughs> like every cuddly toy that you see in this room he's probably bought me um let's go to Asda and get some chocolate and butter and self-raising flour and yes I'm that tired oh the joys of living in the fens and at this time of year everything just smells like horse crap mmm Lovely. Cookie? Cookie. Especially homemade by... That one looks burnt. Does it? <laughs> yeah. It does smell kind of burnt. But eat the well. other side. Okay. Yeah. Are they still warm? Not really. No. Is the chocolate still melted? Chocolate's still gooey. Oh, there's white chocolate in it as well. Yeah, there's white chocolate, milk chocolate and dime bars. There was that in the last one though. It's good. Mm-mm-mm. I've had a good day today. It's been good. I bought um, dinner for us all at Chris's house. We had steak, so I cooked some steak. Although we had steak and chips and their oven is really weird and I don't think the chips were really cooked quite enough. But the steak was really good, so that was good. And um, I feel really content today, which is good. I haven't felt like this for a little while, so yeah, I've had a really good day. Baked my cookies, took some cookies around to Chris's. Oh, I left my present there. He got me he got me a Moana doll because I've been obsessed with Moana recently and a Mrs. Potts and Chip like little toy thing because I couldn't get the chip mug from Primark and he knew I really wanted one so he just got me the little like toy set. It's so cute. Bless his heart. He really thought about that I think. <laughs> if he didn't, still a cute little present. <laughs> And he showed me the things that he got. I should have vlogged it, but he showed me the things that he got from Lakeside. He got, he got two pairs of trainers and two pairs of jeans. Did I say this earlier? Possibly. Maybe I did. I don't know. I am now going to get in my pyjamas, I think. I was debating having a bath, but I can't really be bothered to have a bath, to be honest. So I'm just, thinking, I'm just going to get in my pyjamas, make a green tea or something. Maybe a hot chocolate, no, green tea, or peppermint tea, I need to bloat from this steak, like, I am full. And get into bed and have an early-ish night, it's like half nine now, I think. Um, and I started watching Slasher on Netflix, which is kind of like a murder thriller type thing, so right up my street. And I watched the first two episodes last night and I really liked it, so I'm going to watch another episode tonight, I think. If you're into the same sort of TV programmes as me, you're probably going to really like it, so I recommend it. I feel like I've seen it before, but that might be a lie. I may have seen something similar to it, but not seen that. That makes sense? I've been talking to you for two minutes. As you can tell from my eyes, I'm very tired, so I need an early night. So tonight is the night I'm going to get get it. And I think, I feel like I'm going to sleep really well tonight because I just feel very relaxed and like I've had anxiety really bad like most days for a few weeks and today's the first day that I've not really felt it and I've quite enjoyed that. So yeah, hopefully it continues throughout the week. Who knows what tomorrow will bring. Every day is so different for me at the moment. Like some days I feel fine and some days my anxiety is like extreme and I just really struggle throughout the day so yeah i need to make the most of my relaxed mood and i get an early night and see if i can get some sleep to get rid of these eye bags that are ridiculously bad at the moment <laughs> good wednesday morning to you i'm really starting to get back into my eyeshadow again which is fun um today i've used the revolution palette that i was obsessed with like um a few months ago i've got this color all over this color and this color focus 
this colour and this colour in my crease. And I really like it. Yeah, I think it's really pretty. Hmm. Eye bags are really bad today. Uh, I've also run out of concealer, so I have nothing to hide it with. That is something that I need to do today. I need to get some new concealer. I'm trying to decide whether to just go get the collections one or whether to get the Urban Decay Naked one, which I've used before and I really, really like. And I've used it with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which is what I've got at the moment before, and it was insane. So I'm really tempted to go get that one just because my eyes are so bad at the moment and I just really want to hide them. So that is my debate between now and lunchtime when I go and buy some. Also, I've got a new light bulb and it's really bright really bright i listened to the pitch perfect soundtrack the whole way here i forgot how good that soundtrack was and now i really want to watch the film also i'm really late like it's nine o'clock there was so much traffic today it's ridiculous i have been so bad at vlogging this week and apologies for the boring vlog it is going to be a boring vlog this week i know it is already but i'm not well yesterday i was not in a great like mental state to be completely honest i was very bad mental health day today my anxiety was pretty high and i had a good cry last night um and so yeah i didn't really want to vlog yesterday to be well to be honest uh wouldn't it wouldn't have been fun for you to watch at all feeling a slightly happier today which is good um but yeah it's not it's not been a great week for me to be honest just need lots of cuddles this week. <laughs> um, right now I'm making a toasty because I'm like craving a toasty. It's a ham and cheese toasty. Um, I'm pretty excited to eat it. I've only just put it in, so gotta wait a little bit for it. That's my toasty if you can hear it clicking. <laughs> pretty excited to eat it. I have spent my morning trying to find a dress for my cousin's wedding. And how, seriously, why is it so hard? To find a dress for a wedding like it shouldn't be that hard i've been looking everywhere i've got a few in like my baskets and stuff to kind of order i've got a few in asos i've got two from chi chi london on the website from them um but i'm just not sure and they're all like quite expensive uh, i don't know if i dirty i don't know if i want to spend that money on them if you know what i mean I don't know, they're really nice dresses, but whenever I spend a lot of money on a dress for like an occasion, I only wear it once and then it sits in my wardrobe. Like my Christmas dress, that still sits in my wardrobe. Do any of you remember that? Let's find this. I literally loved this dress and I've worn it once. Once. It's a, probably because it's just a bit over the top. It's amazing. Literally, I'm obsessed with this dress and it cost me so much money and I've worn it once people like someone i know needs to get married or have a party or something in december so i can wear that or like a new year party because it has to be worn about that time of year i haven't done my hair yet which is why it's annoying me i let it dry naturally and i really don't it goes like kind of limp and crappy when i leave it to dry naturally so yeah i don't know what to do i want to find like a really nice dress that just makes me feel really good and I can't find one right now that I kind of love, so I have to keep looking. I've got till June, so I've got plenty of time, but um, I made the right decision to start looking now because it's going to take me a long time. I've reached the conclusion that I need to leave the house because I'm just going insane. I need to get out. So I'm going to pop into Ely quickly because I've got some things that I need to pick up anyway for my cousin's wedding obviously i'm doing Hayley's makeup so i need to go pick up some things for her um like i need to get a waterproof mascara and stuff so i've decided i'm gonna go do that now because i know which mascara i'm gonna get i also need to get some concealer for myself because i didn't do that on my lunch yesterday this is a good angle isn't it i'm just trying to find my sunglasses because i need to hide this face and yeah i'm just gonna get out of the house Go for a drive because just getting in my car sometimes and going for a drive really like changes my mood and just kind of putting my music on and entering my own little bubble and own world makes me feel better. Now I can't find my house keys. I will talk to you in a sec. <laughs> my only hope is that I don't bump into anybody that I know because... I look and feel like crap today and I just can't bother to make small talk with someone, you know, you're just like, please don't talk to me. Just 
keep walking and paying no attention, the door is unlocked. Yeah. I'm leaving the house, people. I'm leaving the house. I don't even think you can see, but there's so many like cat paw prints on my window. Is anyone else like me and sometimes just has to go for a drive? I've got a uh, mention on Twitter. Um, yeah, and like if they're in a bad mood, they just need to get out. Just getting in the car and like driving somewhere or literally have no like plan where you want to go. Just getting in the car and going for a drive, putting your music on just puts me in like a much better mood, like kind of... I don't know, I can't even explain why, it just really does. That's not a good picture, Pips. It's really not, I'm like dreaming at cake. <laughs> oh, Bibba, how I wish I had that glass of red wine right now. Are we meeting up? We are meeting up, are we? I thought that was canceled. Oh, okay. I thought tomorrow was canceled, I'm confused. I'll send you a message because now I'm very confused. What should I listen to? <laughs> what do I have on my phone? Oh, I've got the Pitch Perfect soundtrack. I watched that last night. I love that film. I'm going to listen to that. Let's listen to the Cup song. I got a ticket for the long way round. Two bottle whiskey for the way. Turns out tomorrow is cancelled. She scheduled that tweet for a while ago. <laughs> I do this every time. I pick the wrong time and day to come into Ely. There's roadworks everywhere and it's three o'clock so the schools are literally about to break up. So this is going to be a quick whiz into Super Drug and Boots. I can tell you that. Oh, you can't see me. Hold on. Can you see me now? That's from a film, but she goes, Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Is that creepy? It's kind of creepy. Ugh. An hour and 30 pounds later, who wants to see what I bought? <laughs> I look so rough today, I'm really sorry. I actually got everything I needed from Superdrug, and I was in and out super quickly. So, yeah. Firstly, I picked up my concealer, which ha my local boots has been, well, local, my Cambridge boots has been out of stock of for months, so I haven't been able to get any. Also, have they changed the packaging for this because it feels different and it kind of looks different? Um, I don't know if it's just because I'm so used to really old ones where like everything's worn off, but it just feels different. So let me know if you think the packaging could change for this. It's the Last Imperfections Ultimate Wear Concealer, by the way, collection. I picked up a the Maybelline Lash, Sens Lash Sensation was going waterproof for Hayley for the wedding because she mad crap so we gotta have waterproof and I also picked up another one for me but this is the like intense black one the one that I've got at the moment is just the normal one it's not the intense black so I'm gonna try this one because I love a nice black lash I picked up a new beauty blender again for the wedding for Hayley because I can't use my dirty ones um, but I got this one because it looked kind of cool. It's like double-ended, but I don't actually know what the difference is between each end, but whatever. It looks cute. And I picked up some of these face masks, so the Garnier Skin Active ones. I've got the Moisture Bomb one. Oh, they're all Moisture Bomb. Hold on a sec. The Super Hydrating Revitalizing Mask, which is the one that I've already tried and loved. Then I picked up the soothing mask which has got chamomile extract in it which should be really really nice um because my skin is really not good at the moment i think it's stress and like like everything that's going on has kind of caused my skin to be really bad but and also i picked up this one which is apparently new this one was oh right the other two were on offer this one wasn't but Anyway, it's the um, rebalancing mask with green tea extract in it. So I thought I would give that one a go as well. I love those masks. The I've used this one like three, two or three times and really, really like it. So I thought I would stock up on those at the moment because my skin is so bad. 
I forgot to mention, last night my subscri like subscribers started going up quite quickly and I didn't really understand why. Um, but it's because, I'm assuming, Rosie mentioned me in her weekly vlog, which was so sweet of her. So thank you, Rosie, for the shout out. I will leave her somewhere here, like I'll put her channel or something. Roseanne Pierce, she's such a lovely girl. I love her weekly vlogs and she makes me feel really unfit because um, she is so like on it with her workouts and stuff. Like, I need to go to the gym with you, Rosie. Seriously. I need your help. Well, this morning has been a bit of a struggle. I did not want to get out of bed this morning. Why is it that when you have to get up for work, your bed is always way more comfy? And I went to bed way, like, way earlier than I normally do last night. Like, I was in bed at nine, and that never happens. So I had more sleep than I normally do, and it was harder for me to get up. Is that a thing? I think it's a thing. Like, if you have more sleep, your body wants more sleep. I feel like that is a thing. I like it. I had a super late lunch today, like the time is like, it's four o'clock now and I've still got 10 minutes. But that's a good thing because I'll only have like an hour and 50 minutes left when I go back. So late lunch means short afternoon. Yes, it does. Although I was very hungry when I finally went for lunch. I had fajitas, we had fajitas for dinner last night so I bought them in like leftovers, yum. And now I've got a mint tea, a peppermint tea which never smells really good, but it, it tastes better than it smells. Today actually went really quickly at work, which was nice. I do look a bit of a mess though today. Hmm, nice. Uh, it's now time to edit. I'm not gonna lie, like I really look forward to coming home on a Saturday and editing. Is that really sad? I really enjoy editing, really enjoy it. Um, it's like, I, I don't know why, but I quite like, at the moment, I like to know I've got like plans and what I'm doing and I think that's why I'm quite enjoying it because I'm like right my Saturday night I'm gonna go home I'm gonna edit I've got something to do to keep me busy before I go to bed to occupy me <laughs> but I just I don't know I just not don't really like not having plans at the moment not knowing what I'm doing or like not having something to look forward to does that sound really weird I've got next weekend to look forward to at the moment because I'm going away with Chris we're going up north to see and stay with family again which I think I mentioned no I didn't yeah, so I'm going away again next weekend, so I've got that to look forward to. And then after that, I haven't really got anything, so I'm like, I need to make plans, I need to make plans to do something. But right now, I'm going to edit. Once I finish editing, I am going to do a little mini workout, because I've been getting back into my fitness recently. I'm determined to have my summer body back. Um, so I've been getting into my fitness, and so I've got a little workout planned that I'm going to stick to and do every night. I've been doing like mini workouts every night but now I've got like my little routine of um, what I want to do and bits that I want to work on and stuff. And then I'm going to have a bath and then I'm going to go to bed and watch the last episode of Slash Up or one more episode. I do highly recommend Slash Up but it is pretty gory and like very graphic. So if you don't like gore or blood or anything like that, probably don't watch it. But if you do and you really like like crime, thriller, mystery, um, detective sort of things you will really like it so I highly recommend Slasher to you if you like that sort of thing. I really hope you did enjoy this week's vlog I know it was a little bit shorter because I missed like three days I'm, I'm sorry about that but then I'm also not because my mental health comes first over the vlog to be honest um, but yeah hopefully next week will be a bit better uh, I actually don't really know how I'm gonna do next week because I'm away on the Saturday night and I don't know how I'm going to upload so you may, you'll get the vlog but I don't know whether it will go up or when it will go up on Sunday so make sure you follow me on Twitter, I'll put it somewhere here so you know my um, handle and stuff so make sure you follow me on Twitter because that's probably where I will say where what's happening and when and all of that sort of jazz I find it really weird when you can see me in the mirror hello <laughs> um, yeah so follow me on Twitter so you get all of that all my other social media links are always down below. They're always down there. So if you do want to follow me on anything like Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, um, they're all down there. So make sure you go and give me a little follow on there. Another massive thank you to Rosie for giving me a little shout out. Like you've really given me a little boost. So thank you for that. And yeah, that is all I think I wanted to say. If you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to leave me a little comment down below. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments on last week's vlog. I have read through them all. I don't know if I've replied to them all yet, but I have definitely read through them and you definitely put a smile on my face. So thank you so much for those and yeah, I will see you next week. Bye.